see this man up here. You see this man? He walked all the way from Cape Town. Well, you know what? If you can't be bothered to come to the funeral, you shouldn't be bothered to come to your father's party either. I'm asking you what you're doing here because you're not invited. Okay? You can't be bothered to come to your own sister's funeral! Go and see your father. Look, he's waiting for you. Don't forget his happy birthday. Well, I need to borrow a bath. Yes, I am. No, you don't, because I said. That you're making the pudding for tonight? Exciting. I'm making the pudding. Yes, exciting. I know they must be here somewhere. Everyone here knows I came here fresh face from Nars, right? The plantations. <laughs> and I started out washing the dishes in one of Helga's restaurants. <laughs> And he lays down on the green stuff and he raked it. He raked it. He took advantage of us sexually. He had sex with his precious children. I think you threw out the green stuff. Until I said, what are you doing, huh? Paula, why don't you come and sing something? I suffer from extreme depression and this is another thing you want, but... Go on, and then afterwards we can break full smoke and you can sing to us like the old times. Not yet, Paula! Now listen to my voice. It's Daddy's birthday. Yes, it is. Or well, so we think. It's Daddy's birthday. Yes, it is. And it is today. How are things going in there? Things are fine. It takes a lot more to shock them than that. Don't you worry. What? I'm here for the party. No, oh, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> no, I'm at the right place. This is a private party. A private party. Do you understand me? I would like to thank my husband for the way you care for your family. Well, <laughs> something you should deal with in private. Perhaps the things you said earlier were a bit over the top. <laughs> you came into the office and you saw me on my knees. You saw your husband without his trousers on. I'm sorry that you saw your son like that. I'm sorry that your husband told you to get out and I'm sorry that you did what he asked without a second thought. And I'm sorry that you are so rotten and deceitful that I hope you die for it. And I'm sorry that the lot of you, you fat, Bigs just sit there and calmly listen to her hypocritical crap. This has really been a wonderful dinner and a really lively party. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. 